All right, so in this video, we'll be making use of Pi Auto GUI to manipulate some GUI applications. And if you haven't seen the other video on this channel that introduced Pi Auto GUI and went over a simple Hello World application of making use of this module, I'll link to that in the description below in this video so you can check that out. In this video, we'll be making use of Pi Auto GUI to manipulate the system or default calculator that comes with your operating system. So I'm on Linux and the default calculator that uh, comes with the distribution of Linux that I'm using is open on the right hand side of the screen. If you're on Mac or Windows, you probably have something similar that comes with the operating system as well. And what we'll be doing is we'll be automatically entering in some keys into this calculator just for the heck of it. So I'm going to go ahead and run the demo of what we'll be writing in this tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and run this and I'm going to take my hands off the mouse and keyboard and you can see right now that the uh, keys are automatically being pressed. The sequence one plus one equals was entered automatically. I'm going to go ahead and run that again just in case you didn't see. So I'm going to run that, take my hands off the keyboard and mouse and again we see the one plus one and equal key are automatically being found and pressed uh, for this demo. So we'll be writing a code that does that making use of Pi Auto GUI. Of course, this particular application is relatively useless. I don't know why you'd want to have an application that did specifically this thing, but the goal, hopefully you can take this and extrapolate to something that you will find useful in your own uh, coding life, whatever that may be. Maybe there's an application that you have been working with and it's really boring and you just want to automate it and be done with it. So hopefully this can uh, be a step in the right direction for you to save yourself some time and maybe you can um, you know write write up something cool using this this principle so the demo is meant to be very simple and very straightforward uh, but hopefully you can take it run with it and do something really neat with it so with that said let's go ahead and write the code that's responsible for this particular demo Okay, with that, let's get to coding. So I'm going to create a file which I'm going to call auto, pi auto GUI automate calculator.py. So the first thing that we're going to want to do, of course, is import the pi auto GUI module. And now let's just step through exactly what we're going to do, the approach of how we're going to solve this problem using pi auto GUI. So the way that we're going to do this is we're going to take a screenshot of the buttons that we want Pi Auto GUI to find on our screen, and then we're going to tell it to find where those buttons reside on the screen, and then click the area that corresponds to that button. So what we're going to want to do first is just take a screenshot of the buttons we want to have pressed. In this case, that is the one, the plus, and the equal sign buttons on the calculator. So if you're on Windows, Linux, or Mac, there's most likely a screenshot application that you can open up to select a certain area that you want to take a screenshot of. So what you can do is try to move, position this screenshot that you'll take around the button. Make sure to get the uh, outside the perimeter of the button to make sure that you get the whole button because uh, it can be a bit finicky. So. Um, it, it might not be perfect. If this doesn't work for you, it may just be that the image that you've taken of the button to be pressed is not precise enough. Um, there are other ways to use things like OpenCV, uh, which is an image recognition library in Python, to be a bit more precise. But in this case, we'll just be uh, doing it pretty basic. So what I did is I just took a screenshot of the one key here, and I've already actually gone ahead and saved the one key, the equal key, and the plus key in the same directory as the file that I'm going to be writing this in. So I haven't saved the file that we created in, in Vim, but it will be stored in this directory. And I've gone ahead and taken screenshots of the buttons that I want pressed. So if you go ahead and do that as well, if you're on Linux, of course, I'll be hosting the uh, the images of these buttons on the GitHub repo as always along with the code. So you can just safely download that and run it from uh, without taking the screenshots yourself. If you're on Windows or Mac, the buttons themselves will look different. So you'll have to take a screenshot of the buttons for the calculator that you're making use of so that this actually finds the button uh, and presses it appropriately. So I'm going to minimize this 
and I'm just going to close that. Uh, so once you've gone ahead and taken screenshots of the buttons we want to press, we want to find them on the screen. So we can use PyAutoGUI to do this. We can say PyAutoGUI.locate center on screen, and then we can give it the name of the image that we're looking for. So in this case, I saved the one key as one key.png. So right now this is going to look in the directory that this file will be saved to. We'll actually go ahead and save this file. So if I go back to the folder here, we see this pi automate calculator.py file that we're writing to is in the same directory as these images. I'm gonna go ahead and minimize that again. And if I print this line out here, let me just print this out. Go ahead and run that. So let me uh, go ahead and say Python 2 pi auto GUI uh, automate calculator.py. If I run that, I should get a tuple. This tuple corresponds to the XY coordinate where the one button in this case is located. So this is going to return where we want the mouse cursor to move over to. So that way we can actually click that location and hopefully get the one uh, to be pressed on the calculator. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back and instead of just printing out the coordinates, what we'll do is we'll actually tell PyAutoGUI to click that. So the click function of PyAutoGUI takes an XY coordinate, which is what is returned by this locate center on screen. So I'm just gonna wrap this in PyAutoGUI.click. So I'm just going to wrap that around the XY coordinates that are returned from the locate on center screen. So if I go ahead and save this and then let's go ahead and give this a run. So if I do this, we see that the one button is pressed. The mouse is moved over to the one button and then it's it's pressed there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove that and go back to the code. I'm gonna actually um, make this a bit smaller as well. Let's see, there we go. So it's all on one line. So we have the one key pressed. Now we want to have the plus key pressed as well. Same, same type of procedure. We're just going to essentially copy the first line that we have for the one key and just change the one key to the plus key, which is what I called the image of the plus key uh, that I saved in this directory, just to go back here. Uh, the plus key is called plus key.png. And what we can do is we have one plus and then we want the one again. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy that line, paste it below. Now there's two different ways we can do the equals. So I've already gone ahead and taken a screenshot of the equal key. So I could do the same procedure and just locate where the equal key is stored and uh, click that button. That's one way we can do it. Uh, I wanna go ahead and do it another way just to show you that you can also simulate key presses on the keyboard. So basically the way that you do that is you say pi auto GUI dot press and then you give it the name of the key that you want pressed. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter. Why enter? Well, because once you press one plus one, you can either evaluate that expression in the calculator by pressing the equal key or just going ahead and pressing the enter key and that will evaluate the expression. So this is pretty much all we need to do what the demo did in the initial part of the video. I'm gonna go ahead and save this and I'm gonna go ahead and run it just to make sure that it actually does what we expect it to do. So right now I, my mouse uh, and keyboard are just being automatically used by PyAuto GUI. It went ahead and evaluated the expression one plus one is equal to two and that's pretty much all we need to do for this video. So again, this particular application of PyAuto GUI, GUI in, to use this for evaluating the expression of one plus one equals two is perhaps not so useful, but if there are applications that you're dealing with uh, on your desktop that do not have an API that allows you to directly access manipulation of that program, this will allow you to do that. Um, and it's also, you could probably think of using this for other applications or other purposes, testing your own desktop applications, automating some other process, lots of things. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and leave that as it is. Uh, I will post the code and the images in this case to my GitHub and I will leave a link in the description below in this video. So thanks again for watching and have a great day.